you are watching Kolsky One. Like, share, and subscribe. Hi, welcome back. You're watching Kolsky One. Today, I want to have a re look, if you like, at the Mavic Mini. So, believe it or not, it has been a year since this came out. Been the strange, strangest year ever, what with all the stuff that's gone on in the world, but it has been out a year. And what I wanted to do was not re review this, but discuss what I think's changed in my opinion over the 12 months that I've owned this. When I did the review on this initially I got some stick because I didn't review it as like other people did and I didn't say it was brilliant and I thought my review was about right. Um, I still do, I still feel the review is about right. Not like something like the RC Sailors did a review on this which is absolutely ridiculous purely because they obviously didn't get sent one that they absolutely destroyed it but that's by the by. So, what's this good for? So what this is really good for is flying proximity flying. So if you can only if you're flying in a quite a small area or you want to film something, uh, your kids playing or something in, in an area where you can film, I think this is brilliant. So I'm just going to pause it and I'm just going to show you what I mean by that. Where I've took some shots of my house, so I've just flew above my house. You can see what I mean. I've been fairly close to the house. But you can see the detail you can get if you want to do that kind of flying. So let's just have a quick look at that. Okay, so what you can see from that is that you can get really close in on subjects without getting too, with hardly any noise, you're not obtrusive, and that was my house. Before anybody starts putting in the comments that you shouldn't be flying around your neighbourhood, it was my house. The shots you're going to see later on in the video are flying around the neighbourhood, but hey, that's what it to be, it's good for. Because of the fact it weighs 250 grams, it's ridiculously small and light and quiet, you can get away with a lot. So the camera on this thing, so when it first came out, I said the camera was average, I think the camera's probably, maybe that was a little bit harsh, it's, it's a good camera. Um, and it, what I thought maybe at that point was maybe could they make this into a 4K camera? Well, to be fair, they're not going to are they? Because the Mavic Air is now out and the Mavic Air 2 and you're not going to compete with themselves because that's what they will be doing. And there's no need to because there's nothing else in this price class. There's all the cheap nasty stuff you've seen, the e and AX3 or whatever it's called, AX4 or 5, I don't know. There's all that type of stuff in the market that looks like this and professors to be like this is going to have a super great camera. It's going to do 35 minutes flight time or whatever and you're going to be able to fly it a mile away and then in reality you get it and it flies okay because they normally do but it doesn't fly like it's on its piece of garbage. So the one thing I said about this and this is the one thing I stick with, this is not good in wind. So if you're flying in 5 6 miles an hour it's fine and in the UK that's quite a normal wind for us but Sorry, the camera's going in that focus. But there's other times when you, if you've got 10 miles an hour, this thing's going to struggle to come back to you. You're going to struggle to keep momentum going as it's pushing through the air. And that's quite simply the law of physics. This thing's most of that big enough to force it through the fact it's got very little weight about it. I'm not saying it's necessarily a bad thing. I'm saying that that's one of the limitations this has. One of the massive advantages, of course, is this thing's under 250 grams. And if that means a lot to you, it means nothing to me because I'm not bothered about registering. But if you don't want to register, it's still fantastic. So is it viable now? Would, you, would I buy it today? Um, possibly would. I'm actually selling mine, which I'll explain in a minute. But yeah, I probably would. I probably would still buy it today for the fact that there's nothing else like it. I thought something may have come out in the last 12 months and with what's happened in the world you can understand that things have slowed right down but I thought something might have come out, maybe someone would have made another drone that might be competed with, maybe FEMA, because the A3's streets behind this. So I thought maybe someone would have come out and maybe competed with it, but they haven't, so it's one of those things. So 
the video you'll see at the end is flowing around the neighbourhood, yes it is, but what I want you to look at that is, it was flooding a little bit of wind, and you'll see where the limitations of this sensor is on this camera. If you spin fast, you're going to not get the best image. Whereas if you do the same, fly, same flight and the same style of flying in a more expensive drone, you're going to get a better image. It's not, when you do spins, it's not going to look as crazy as it does, it's not going to not break up, it's not going to stutter or every... It's hard to describe what the word You'll see in the video what it does when it's in fast turn mode. And you don't get that on the higher priced drone. But you got, to a certain extent, that doesn't matter. Because this is a cheap drone. I'm not sure what the price is today as we stand. Are they still 369 or 379 with one battery? I don't know. Uh, I've got the... I've got the I've got three batteries in mine now and I've got the case and I've got filters and everything like that. Um, and the, so why am I selling it if I still like it and it has a purpose? So obviously if you watch my channel for any length of time you know I own loads of camera drones. Oh I did load, own loads of camera drones. I got rid of lots of them. Um, purely for the fact now I've got a, ma a quite a big fleet of DJI FPV because I think I'm up to nine. They're very expensive. They're around four to five hundred a pop by the time you've got everything for them. So they're expensive to build because I like building my own. Even the buying the flyers are coming in at 350 something like that. So it's expensive game. And that's what I enjoy doing more than I do flying these type of things now. Hence why this has got to go. Plus the fact I bought the Mavic Air 2. Absolutely blew me away. I don't understand how they can sell that drone at that price. And I know people are going to go, oh, it's still expensive. Yes, it is expensive. But not in the world of drones anymore. It's, it's a cheap drone for what it does and it's so capable and I don't think I need anything else. That is my one and only drone that I'll keep camera drone because when I had all these camera drones I was flying, I didn't see the point anymore. I got to a point where I thought, what am I doing? What am I going to fly today? And I'm thinking, well, it doesn't matter because they fly the Mavic Zoom or the Mavic Pro, nothing can beat them anyway, the Mavic 2 Zoom and the Mavic 2 Pro. Nothing could beat them drones. So it was pointless me flying other stuff and trying to get something that I didn't want going to get. And I know there's different times for different things and this is why this drone still got flown. Uh, even though it's a killer in the wind. So I was harsh on it by saying it and the one thing I'd look back on the review maybe I said it was a bit cheap feeling. It might feel cheap but it does its job. I've had no issues with it whatsoever. Everything works as it should still. I've had flawless recording, I've never had an issue, I've never had anything break, I've never landed it hard. I use the leg extensions which I reviewed a while ago if I fly in long grass because there is some long grass near me. The controller never let me down, I've never had an issue with range, I've never flown it far away because that's not what I bought this drone for. So I couldn't tell you, I haven't done a range test on this thing to tell you if I can get two miles out of it or whatever. Probably the furthest I've been away is 800 metres, 900 metres. Because I haven't needed to do that, because I didn't buy that drone for this purpose. And you'll have seen from the proximity shots I did, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get, we've already worked on the house and stuff, to check where we were up to, what things looked like on it and stuff like that. I wanted it for that. I had a Parrot and Affy that I used to use for that, but I had issues with it and everybody else seems to be having issues with it. Affy. So, I do recommend this. If you want looking for one of these, you can buy one, you can get them cheap because I, there's rumours flying about them having Mini 2 will come out. When that will be, I don't know. I'll be very surprised if it's quick because of what's been happening with Covid and also I don't understand what it's going to have different. Because if you put a 4K camera on it, they don't want to take away from the market they had. It will make it heavier. So, it'll be good to see when it comes out what it's going to be. And I'm not saying I'll never get one. Probably, you know me, I probably will. So, overall, yes, buy one. You can get them second hand now, have a look around for second hand one, but you can still buy them new at a very good price. And the only reason I'm selling mine is because of that. So, if I was giving it a score now out of 10, I'd probably give it an 8, and I'd probably knock marks off for the fact that I'd want these motors to be stronger, have a bit more power, and I wasn't bothered about the 250 gram rule. I know hundreds and thousands of people were, but to me it never mattered. So for me, if they'd have made it 100 grams heavier and it was better in wind, it'd have been a better drone. Having said that, I've got the Mavic Air 2, so I'm more than happy with that. So, thanks ever so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Don't forget, like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.